Well, Mandeville, looks like I got you in the hot seat. Yeah, where can I get some cigarettes around here? Of course, that's the first thing you're going to go to. Just right Let me just mind. get some fucking Marlboro Reds. Yeah. I want to take a break. It's just like you. We just started. We're you're already take ready at least for three breaks while we're doing. You're this. already ready yeah. for a cigarette. Can break. we make this a 20 minute show, please? No, I'm, I'm fiending. Not at all. all you, right. And you're gonna keep fiending. Okay, I can do this. Welcome to Free Range American Who's Who in the Zoo, one on one with the Jack Mandeville. Jack, I just had a lot of chicken. Are you full? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you, ready? Are you feeling lethargic? The, or? No, the energy is high. I haven't drank in 20 days. Oh, yeah. I've been working out. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. But you got you got some naps in today? No? So I'm sorry, some what? Some naps? You got some No naps. naps. Okay. No naps. We're filming so until 3 in the morning. <sighs> yeah. I'm about to throw back about four or five hour energies. Oh, you can get through that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know? Oh, yeah. if you do them all at once, it gets you ready. Yeah, I'm going to be waking up at Jocko hours when you guys are rapping. So. You normally do. Yeah, I like know? getting up early. You have the whole world to yourself. And yeah. plus, you know, I, I feel like Jocko and I feel better than everybody. So, <laughs> The Jack Mandeville. Have we, uh, who are you? Because I don't know. Oh, yeah. I spend, I spend more time with you than anybody else. Yeah. I think. Uh, yes, I I work with you and hang out with you socially more than anybody in San Antonio. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. I think anybody as a whole. You're like you're you're about fifty percent of my work and social atmosphere uh, these days. With so. only about fifteen percent of communication. Yeah. <laughs> I, hey, I don't mind a, like a, a one word text the, answer, the, the man. Silence. I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah I, the I'm, silence. I'm used to dating cold women, so it's not a big deal to me. Yeah. Is that is that, is that a, a northerner joke? Uh well, uh, yeah. It's, As in it, the weather is cold. It's where a you're Scandinavian from. thing. By the way, where are you from? I grew up. I was born in L.A., but I grew up in Minnesota. I consider oh, so myself you're like a mighty duck. Yes, I was uh, eight years old when they filmed that. I was oh, prime age. Were you for that trying movie. to get? Oh, the, the everybody movie? in town wanted to be an extra in that movie. Oh, man. They filmed it right down the street from where I grew up, no actually. No kidding. At the New Hope Ice Arena. So did you grow up like that, where hockey was the only thing? Hockey is king in Minnesota. Uh, I wasn't good, because my dad was like an L.A. guy, so I didn't grow up, you know, skating at two years old like all the other kids. I was a little behind, but yeah, we all played hockey growing up. Yeah? Yeah. But no no aspirations to continue that? I was not good at the sport. Uh but uh, yeah, no, I was pretty good at um, getting high in high school. Oh, that, was, right. that was my main you athletic endeavor. You didn't tell endeavor. your recruiter that, I'm sure. No, I did not. No, you told that recruiter you had never done drugs. Never done ever. drugs. And luckily I went to a Marine recruiter. They would have told me to shut my mouth anyways and hey, got Jim, me through the process. Shut up. We need you. Yeah, exactly. Right, there is a war. I'm, I'm trying to hit my numbers this month, young man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and if anybody is expendable, it's you. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I went the 03 option. Yeah. I was not, uh, yeah, so I was not an important kid. You graduated high school and you joined the Marine Corps out of Minnesota. Out of Minnesota. And then yep. you shipped off to where? West uh, Coast or East Coast? Uh, I went to the West Coast. I okay. went to MCRD San Diego. Yeah. I, and I enlisted on August 11th, 2001. Wow. I thought I was going to be going to Thailand and everything for four years. And I never got to go to Thailand because Iraq. Yeah. Yeah. Because Iraq. That whole Iraq thing happened. I was there for the invasion. I was a little baby Marine. 19. I was two weeks out of my infantry school. Were you guys driving in? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Ooh, I, you I, start in Kuwait. Where'd you start? I graduated from my infantry school. We hopped on a plane. We landed in Kuwait on March 6th, 2003. And we were, we were one of the, I was in first Marine division. So we were one of the first, uh, units to cross the border there on March 19th. No kidding. Yeah. Little baby. I didn't even know who my chain of command was. I was so new. Just following whoever I was, was just, in, yeah. Were you driving? I was driving. Oh, yeah. I was, uh, were LA, you sleepy? Uh, you know what? At 19 years old, I had a lot of energy. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we ever got any more than four hours a night, but luckily I was 19, 19 years old. Now I'm in my mid thirties. And when I mid see Jack. Mid mid mid, 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 ah, mid, mid, in the mid to late range, mid to late, <laughs> mid to late range. Yeah, I still say mid thirties. Yeah. Come on, we're shopping for some ladies. For yeah, you out there. yeah, maybe, maybe we I'm, are. Well, I don't I'm, know. I'm ready to make babies. I'm are at that ready? age. Oh yeah. yeah, you're ready to settle down. Oh the, yeah, we need to we need to put you in drinking bro singles and let everybody know Slurrit. that you're in there for the relish. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in the, I'm in there to be dad. But, you know, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> I'm I'm not kidding you. Fifty percent of the reason why I want to have kids is just so I have someone to play catch with. <laughs> I just I just want someone to play catch with, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of you got to grow them first. By yeah. the way, you know that, right? You got to make it till you about three. Th and you're gonna play start, catch at three? Yeah, they can start throwing a ball at three. Okay. I never my my nephews. I got two twin nephews, and I never really 
This is going to sound terrible. I never really cared about them until they were at uh, ball throwing age. That's when go. they started I becoming mean, I excited. I don't think that sounds terrible. Yeah. So you joined the Marines, but I, I noticed you're wearing a hat. Oh, yeah. My Stolen Valor hat. Yeah, that's a red horse hat. That's, red an, Air, horse. that's an Air Force unit. It's an Air Jack. Force unit. I'm very proud to be uh, a Stolen American. Valor oh, member okay. of that unit. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I I did a USO show uh, last um Christmas. And one of the airmen after the show, he's like, Hey, let me give you a hat for my unit. I'm like, Oh, cool. Thanks. Threw it in my bag, brought it back to San Antonio with me. And then I started wearing it around town. You know, I like to wear free hats and whatnot. And I, you are a big fan of gas station hats. I love gas station yeah. hats. You know that. You always yeah. have a new one. I'm showing up with a nice $20 gas I station hat. I love your hat. Desert Storm veteran hat. I got Desert Storm World War II. I got a uh, Vietnam veteran. Has anyone ever asked the World War II? No. <laughs> I, th- I mean, just like- I did. Yeah. Yeah, I did have someone do poking, you know, the back peak stolen valor phase when everybody was trying to catch someone in the act. Some guy was poking at me like he was going to catch me stolen valor in World War II, which I totally was. Yeah. Yeah, I told him I was in the bulge. I was in the bulge. I was in the bulge, man. (laughs) You want to see my tattoo? The Battle of the Bulge is just a gay bar off North St. Mary's Street. It is, uh, it was a battle in 1945, so. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so you got out of the Marines. You started working in the oil industry. Yes. I I know way too much about you. You do, yeah. (laughs) You and I'm not kidding. You probably know more about me than a lot of people do. Because as as I, hey, I'll take my shirt off. Hey, put me in a diaper. I'll yeah. do anything on camera. But I, I uh, nobody knows who the Jack Man. I have is. that Norwegian Minnesota mindset when it comes to certain things. Where it's like, ah, well, if someone doesn't ask me questions, there's really nothing to talk about, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, well, I got out of the uh, Marine Corps and I did odd jobs as a delivery driver. I went to school and then, yes, I what, went to the oil Who were you delivering for? DHL. Oh, wow. Big I got, a, pa- I got a package from DHL today. Oh, was it an international package? Oh, yeah. They're the best at yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, they are. They're not really powerful uh, in the American market outside of doing international Domestic. Stuff. Yeah, that's not yeah. Their, their strong suit. They're not a good domestic beer. No, stick Nickelode. with the ups and the feds. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, that's good. Um, and then after DHL, that's when you went to the oil fields? Went to the oil fields. I uh, moved down to Austin, Texas. Mm-hmm. Old Marine buddy. Uh, who he's uh, like a he's in tenth group now actually oh, wow. yeah but I uh, moved down to Austin then I moved to San Antonio went to UTSA here in San Antonio and then uh, went back to Southern California for a while then to Midland Texas and that's when I started doing oil work and then you were just isolated though weren't you I was in the you middle were, of nowhere you yeah pressure you you check pressures I was I was doing flowbacks which oh. means I. <laughs> I lived in a trailer for 30 <laughs> days at a time by myself with a satellite dish and Wi-Fi. 30 all, days at a time in a trailer alone, just yeah. checking a flow. All alone. Once an hour, I have to go check a gauge and maybe take a sample and walk back in, watch the all playboy. And, uh, I would I would work for about 14 hours a day, but it was yeah. such a long drive back to Midland, Texas from where I was at that I would just stay the night there. Yeah. And no, wait. I just mean like they didn't make you do 24-hour checks. No, there'd be a guy that would come at night, but I would usually just, it was a trailer, so I'd sleep in the spare room there. And, yeah, no. And I, it, that the only human interaction I had was with that guy and the ranchers, and I would start going crazy. You, you know that, that movie Castaway where yeah. he talking starts to talking the yeah. to the ball? I know how that feels. I've been out there so isolated so long, I would like talk to the sheep. It was on a sheep. There was a sheep ranch there. I would start talking to the sheep. I would go on drives just so I could like interact with the sheep. I was going nuts out there because it was like a half hour drive just to go to the gas station. Oh man. Yeah. That's good. But that is when you started emailing Ranger up. That's when I, uh, I was, or you started with, uh, with duffel blog. My first paying gig ever was with the duffel blog. I was, I'm very proud of this now looking uh, in hot. Flip your hat around. Tell, tell us this story. In 2012, I was uh, one of the, the 10 original, or it was a 2011, I was one of the 10 original duffel blog writers, uh, something I'm very proud of. And uh, I was doing stuff for the duffel blog. And at that time, Ranger Up had that big blog, The Rhino Den. I started contributing to them. My goal was to always get paid to write and do that professionally. So I was making really good money in oil. And eventually, uh, they offered me a paying job to go you know, do product copy, write blogs, write videos, um, think of t-shirt ideas. So that was my first full-time creative job opportunities. I went to Ranger Up in 2013 and, uh, and we met took a little bit of a paycheck. Shortly paycheck. after that. Yes, Probably we beginning met in 2014. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we met about a year after I started there because that's when you guys were uh, blown up at that time. Yeah. And what, uh, what do you remember from that? I remember our first time hanging out with each other. You guys came down to Durham and yep. we went out that night in Durham there. And I remember we all ended up at, uh, it was you, Matt, and Vincent. We all ended up at Waffle House like at three in the morning. 
Mm-hmm. We, had, we had some stamina back then. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't remember this. Oh, I do. All. Yeah. We, you and I were in the bathroom. We weren't doing crazy stuff. We weren't like ripping lines of blow or anything. We were just like hanging out. We were out, just in the just bathroom. Just drinking in the Wasn't bathroom. Wasn't I showing you something weird? It was, yeah, we were in the like, bathroom. We weren't porn. doing anything. Oh, that's what I showed you. <laughs> oh, yeah. The famous <laughs> the, one. The yeah. tornado. Scary yes. tornado video. Yeah, you caught that very early. That yeah. video has been around for a while. There's yeah. only about 400 views on it when I when I was. Oh, you're the one. Yeah. yeah. You made that guy's career right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then uh, we came back after the first time. I remember the first time was you guys came back a couple times, and then we did. We went to. I remember going out to El Paso a couple times, and then yeah, we probably w- did five or six meetups before we started filming. Yeah, because we did we did the campaign video together. Yes. Yeah, uh, to raise the money, you and I. That was our first time being in a video together. Yeah. Yeah, that was actually. Now, yeah. Oh, yeah, we didn't do anything before that. Yeah, we yeah. were just working on the script, it was really. Eat your cucumber. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, my God. Before I was a blow up doll guy, I forgot I was a cucumber guy. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Everybody was all about that cucumber yeah. line. Just, I went um, right for it. And then, you know, you and, and Nick came out when we went through the final pass and rewrite of Range 15 in mm-hmm. a hotel. Yep. We Story stayed there no for one two or about. three days. Yeah. I remember, I remember everybody flight. was kind of bitching. We were all going back and forth about the script. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. And finally, it was July. Yeah. We had already raised the money. We had to, it was we like, had to get it locked. Yeah. You know, we're coming out there. We're all going to go through this thing until everyone's happy. And that's what we did. We locked ourselves in that conference room for what? Like 48 hours? Yeah, it was and at we, least two days. we went through the entire movie like and from like 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. Like yeah. as it was going and we changed the dialogue as we were doing it. That was wild. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, it, I remember it was me, you, Ra, or uh, Vincent and Matt and Nick. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we wrapped it up in there. I was the low man on the totem pole in that writing room. So I kind of, you know, I, I contributed where I could. But uh, yeah, I, I do remember there was tension at times it seemed like yeah yeah everybody i mean i stayed any, out of it because i was thinking about cigarettes the whole time of course you were yeah you always are yeah every time i can't find you i know exactly Just, where you you're know exactly at exactly where i'm at yeah, yeah i do and i'm in that backyard of yours <laughs> yeah you are staring at the pool <laughs> huffing them down yeah <laughs> so then we went into the production of the movie yes what was, how was that for you that was i mean Looking back in hindsight, I remember uh, uh, Hollywood Heard saying, you guys have, you know, he's a veteran of the film industry. And he he's, he was saying, you guys have no idea how special this set is. Uh, the fact that it's running like this and the energy that you guys have, that's not normal for a normal film set. I didn't realize what he was saying at the time. He's like, you guys are going to, this is going to go by really fast. And looking back on it, it went by really fast. But being on that set was... I en- I enjoy the memories of being on that set far more than I enjoyed the movie itself. Yeah. Just the I process agree. was the best part of Range 15 for me. Yeah. I, I mean, I had a different experience just because that was like, I had taken lead. That was my, you know, me and Nick were mm-hmm. the, were kind of the managing partners on it, that. On you that were thinking project. a lot of logistics yeah, in between scenes. So it scenes. was like, and it ate me up. Yeah. Like, and now having been, involved in heavy production for over five years now. Like, obviously I'm going to go into things a lot differently. Like the, the, what we're doing, you know, starting tonight, we're in Bass Pro right now. Yeah. We're about to do this massive Black Friday commercial. And it, when you immediately go from being in the military, when you're an NCO and you are in charge of things, and then you're jumping into something like this massive film production, like mm-hmm. it was really hard understanding when you had control, when you didn't, when to speak up, when you shouldn't, mm-hmm. when to get and angry. Even though it was your to. movie, yes, you were was, still kind of, there was people with more experience there and yes. you, you had to figure out who it was a you really were going to pick weird, your battles with. Yeah, it was a really weird experience because yeah. even then, you know, there was, there was so much tension between Nick and I because we're both, uh, yeah, we, we were trying to show everybody that we could come together. Like, look at this. We're two competing brands. We're coming together, yeah. but we still both in our heads are like, this is the vision I had. Well, this is the vision I had. And we're just, we're running in opposite directions with a rope and we have the same amount of torque yeah. and we don't go anywhere. So it was like, it really taught me personally, like when, when do you, when do you, when, what battles are you going to pick? And then what, what, what really is it important? I mean, that was kind of the first time when, we would we would argue over something and I would step back and go, okay, 
why do I want this? Mm -hmm. Do I want this because I think it's going to be better? Yeah, do I ego, want it because or... it's my idea? Yeah. Do I want it because of this? Or am I blocking out what could be an equally good idea just because it wasn't mine? Mm -hmm. Like, and so there was a lot of fucking learning. Yeah. That. Probably a lot of self-realization yeah, you went through yeah. during the time. I mean, time. I, it was, it was a crazy time. I mean, I was, I was pulling my hair out towards the end because it was just, it was the pressure to me. Yeah. Like we had, when I was taking a step back and looking at the project that we were doing, we had collected over a million and a half dollars from the veteran community. Yeah. There is no, fuck it, I quit. You can't like, fail we people cannot, who gave you and we money. Can't fit, we can't fuck this up. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we can't show our faces anywhere. Yeah. Like in our own community. Yeah. We'll just be known as, oh, those are those guys those, that those guys stole took all money. that money yeah. and then didn't make us a movie. So it was just so... Ah, eventually one day I want to do all a whole thing on what it was like, but it was yeah. For a hindsight me. thing would I mean we're what is it? it's been five, I think five, five years ago we were filming oh, we it. Wrapped today. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my god. Today you know five years ago what I did the scene in the desert yes. with the smoke with the smoke grenades. Dude, one of my great uh, there's a few things that stick out from filming that, but one of the the, the memories that puts a smile on my face looking back on it was that last day the last thing we shot was you eating the pies yes that was a skeleton crew yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we went out there and it was just us it was yeah. the five of us main cast after members after we've been on a set with 130 yeah freaking crew it was, members it was a it was the dp and ross and it was the five of us we went out there you did you were we we got back in the van after you got done i just remember remember he was like put the pie on your yeah. head i'm like what dude we didn't uh, have, there was no showers uh, out there yeah <laughs> We all got back in the van. Uh, the rap party was that night. It was the last oh. thing we had to pick up. And after two weeks, which, you know, two weeks isn't that long of a time. But when you're filming a, a movie the way that we did in that short period of time, we were smoked at that point. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. dead quiet in the van. And I just remember some, we were all just sitting there. We're not even talking at this point. And I just remember someone in the van saying, we feel, we shot a fucking movie. <laughs> and we were all just like, had this like joy. We just realized what we had just, <laughs> yeah. because it had been a, a, at least, at least since I was involved with it, it had been a year and a half. Oh yeah. Process. That was a long project, yeah. man. And like, it wasn't over for me after that. Like I ended up staying in LA Editing. another week and a half or just, just helping Ross do yeah. what we had to do to close out. Cause we had to fly to Vegas that next day to get the plane shot. And then, oh, that's right. There was one uh, more shot. Yeah, after that. and yeah. then I went to work on the uh, intro sequence, so the animations right, for all yeah. that. So that took me over twenty days of, you know, ten day to seventeen hour days of just getting this exactly how I wanted. I remember one of the one of the cool things about the rap party though is one of my friends from high school, and it like showed up. And that was just cool. Like, was, he was just in town. No, was and, a, a girl, her name's Amy Harvey. I'm still still friends with her and her husband. She's yeah. awesome. Like, but it was cool. Like at the very end of yeah. this, to have someone that knew me from all the way in junior high to yeah. be at this moment for us. And it I was had like four of my Marine Corps buddies who lived in SoCal come out like, for that. It was hey, just I just made a movie. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. It was just. Great. You have and you have such at that point you have such a built-in camaraderie with everybody that worked on the project and then you know special people in your life who are getting to share that with you. It's like it was, yeah, just it was wild. a really fun night. Like I, I mean, I forget it. Like we we're so busy and we're just so we constantly pile things up. On, we we get done with something, we load it, we forget about it. Yeah, it's like, I haven't thought about that movie in years. Yeah, same. And it's like even then people will ask me, "Oh my God, what was it like filming Range with Dean?" It's like shit, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. It, you, you're moving on to the next project. Like every time, every time you, you wrap something up, it's like, well, what am I going to do next? But 2021, you and I are doing a movie. We're, oh, yeah. Yeah. We're, oh, doing, yeah. we're doing it with Charlie Classic. Uh -huh. We're going to do our, uh, you get sick in this movie. Yes. And you're dying. I would love to play a dying boy. Yes. You yeah. are a roommate. I can't wait for this. Yeah. I still have uh, the outline for that uh, on our Google yeah. Doc. We're, me. uh, we're going, forward. We're going forward with that. Yeah. I think I've, I've found a good production company that's willing 
to work with us on that. Yeah. We're, we're going to film it in New Orleans. Oh, I love that. I've never been. Oh, well. I don't mind going out there for work. <laughs> yeah. So we wrap Range 15. What was the release like for you? Did you go home or anything? Did you do anything special once that came out? Did you get any weird high school friends contacting you thinking now you're rich and famous? Oh, well, that's something I've gone through. They think because I, I act that I somehow loaded. I'm like, ah, I don't think you understand how it works. Like, that's not how it works. And it, maybe even if you... Uh, even if you get like a nice union job, that could be your only job for the year. So even if it pays a lot, that could be, you know, the bulk of your income. Um, I, 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 you know, we did those two premieres like at Fort Hood and at Fort Bragg, but my yeah. dad was retiring, so I couldn't make those. So my first premiere uh, that I went to was the, uh, the the one we did in D.C. there. Okay. The big, the, yeah. you know, the big The ball. GI Film Festival. The GI that was Film right Festival. before we went to theaters. Yep. And we did L.A. a week later. Then we hit. That was the big. L.A. was the big one. Big premiere. Yeah. Then uh, obviously uh, they were. We released in what five hundred theaters. Seven. Seven hundred theaters. Yeah. So I was kind of on a. I was kind of on a, a tour at that point. I was a special guest at all these different premieres throughout the country. I was flying around, but I did get to go home and watch it in my home, hometown theater. And no joke. That theater opened up my senior year of high school, and I remember the first movie I ever watched in that theater, the very theater that we premiered Range 15 in in Maple Grove, Minnesota there. The first movie I watched uh, in that theater was The New Guy, oh, starring wow. Ross Patterson. Holy shit, yeah. what a loop. Small world, yeah. Because I remember the whole time I was trying to get a HJ from my uh, high school girlfriend at the time. There yeah. you go. Yeah, back when those were important. Yeah. Oh, when you are oh, 17. I yeah. did the same thing, too. I went... I went back to my hometown. I didn't tell anybody I was coming. And I walked into that theater the, yeah. the, the day it premiered. And it was all of my class and my sister's class and everything. Everybody like, grew up with. It was like, what's up? And I, I, I remember I, I told them this before the movie started. I was like, hey, you guys were my first audience. Yeah. Like when Watching I started skate videos. When I, was, when I started making things, when Dave and I started yeah. making things in our house in Florida, you were, I mean, we go back and look at this. Like one of these, these, these photos that Dave and I did years ago where uh, he's driving. Am I driving or are you driving? No, the uh, on the, the roof of the car when we're car surfing. Who's on the roof? I'm on the roof. Dave, I think I've seen so that Dave's video. driving. I'm on the roof. Like, we were so proud of this fucking picture because David researched all these things. We needed a pole and we needed to order a, a, a commercial grade suction cup. And we had to push the vehicle ourselves to get this shot and remote it and everything. We got this final thing. I went back and looked on it. It's got like seven comments on it <laughs> and like nine likes. And we're high-fiving. Like, yeah. Oh my God, look that's at these, a wrap, these boys. seven people yeah. saw our stuff. Oh my yeah. God, this is awesome. Well, that, that had to be, that's pre-YouTube too. It's right around when YouTube was was starting, right? Yeah. When, right when him and I started watching Freddie Wong and stuff like that. Yeah, you guys so were like, you guys yeah. were doing the the Pacific Northwest version of CKY <laughs> yeah. back then. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, our first audience was our friends from high school on Facebook. Yeah. So it's wild. So you went home. Was every you knew everybody in that theater? A lot of people. Yeah, yeah. a lot of my family showed up. Uh, a lot of crazy questions and got got some questions. Yeah, I didn't think they knew that I was coming until the last second. The guy who was putting on the what was the platform we used? Uh, uh, Tug. Tug. The guy who hosted the you Tug were trying event. You get an HJ in there, and we used Tug. To, oh uh, man, yeah. You know what's crazy? I my one of my old little childhood flings. You know, she uh, she was there that night, and I got to <laughs> see her again. So that was oh, nice. did you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You had to see her again. Yeah, yeah. yeah she was there did. that night. Yeah, yeah it was did. good to see her again. Yeah, see her again. It was really good to see her. Yeah, again. I bet it was great to see her again. Uh, look, it was uh, it was a trip down memory lane that oh, night. That's but for to sure. see her again, I saw her. Again. Oh, you oh, did. For sure, you yeah. saw her again. It was yeah. probably great to see her again. It was. Yeah. Yeah. You know, things have changed over the years. She was a mom now, but so, you know, yeah. it was good to see her again. It was definitely good to see her again yeah <laughs> this is definitely the swipe we, up for this <laughs> we made Just, we made like with each other oh whoa yeah, jack yeah, yeah. you're it's a tell-all now and i was not and i was not well i it's, mean i wasn't a, uh i wasn't gonna buy a hotel i i make a shitty actor's salary so. so you just went to your movie with her and then you made her buy a hotel room no oh i was doing it down in my parents basement like the good old days <laughs> Oh, like man. I was, but it was good to see sneaking her. girls. Like I'm a third. I was like I was like probably 32 at the time, sneaking girls down <laughs> to my parents' house. Yeah, that is too good. Yeah, yeah. So after that, 
After the movie premiere thing wears off, you and I find ourselves in Egypt. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, about uh, about a year later, you invited me to uh, go do our first, uh, it was an AFE tour. It's yeah. like a USR Armed tour. Forces Entertainment. Yeah. That's how I got on my The, uh, the American Hitman. Yes. Yeah, that was a that was a talk about a ten day blitzkrieg. We hit three countries, did like six shows. Yeah, Egypt uh, three three shows in Egypt, three shows in Egypt. Uh, Jordan, we went and to Romania. Jordan, Jordan was in and out, and then Romania. Uh, Romania was cool when we got to go to that cool. airfield. Yeah, with all those decrepit mid mid twenty nines. Yeah, and, I just uh, heard old Russian music. Like you and you did what you always do. You immediately made friends with the J Tax there. Yeah, of yeah. course. And, uh, yeah, I remember you were, uh, hanging out with them and we got to do what's cool about those tours is, you know, you don't just show up and perform, you know, they give you little dog and pony shows. Yeah, they let you they take touch you to the, the equipment. Yeah. And, and I've been well, out of Yeah. Them. You and I filmed that video of us, you shirtless waking up in a Bradley. Remember the, the Bradley yes! door came down. Yes! We should find these. Dude. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm sure I could find it. It's, and it's probably on me Ranger feeding you, uh, sardines, sardines yeah, in the that pool. Was in e that was our in, first day in Egypt. In Egypt. Yeah. Then we went to that seafood lunch in Egypt and they gave us everything on the menu. Yeah. Those guys were so excited. Didn't he get your phone number and he kept texting you? Oh, I'm still uh, Instagram <laughs> and Facebook friends with the, the waiter from the Egyptian seafood place. Yeah. In the Sinai. And that's not where <laughs> Americans don't go to that part of town that we were in. Oh, no. We were like the first Americans those people had they seen in so years. They were so excited. They were so. They opened up early. Well, because uh, I, you know, the main. Still, the bill was like $65. Yeah. But the main tourism out there is mostly Russians and Ukrainians, and evidently they don't, they're mean and they don't tip. Yeah. Where Americans were like, "Here's like twenty dollars extra money just for Dude, we had smiling a, we at me." We had a table full of of of, of lobsters. Yeah. Like yeah. they were like, "Up to try this." We're yeah. like, ah. and then we went and got uh, massages afterwards. That yeah. massage was funny. Yeah. Because remember, we were chasing each other around in the steam room naked. Yeah, because we could only we see, see this other, far in front of our face. Yeah. Bumping into each other. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was, that was borderline real gay. Yeah. No, it yeah. got yeah. a little weird. Yeah. There. We, I forgot we should tell that story. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And yeah. Just just like Dude, yeah, that was custom such a, static. That was such that. a fun tour. <laughs> and you know what's great? Like I've been out of the military so long that you know, it's it's ex when they get, do the dog and pony stuff with yeah. us and they show us the equipment. I'm really excited because it's it's like it's new well, to me I like again. hanging out with all the the people that are over there. And if yeah. they're excited that we're there, hey, yeah. now I'm excited. Yeah, you get like if somebody's like, "Ah, oh, who are these tools?" Like it's like, oh, "Okay, I don't have to be here. I didn't have to sit on this plane and coach for 38 hours yeah. to get here. <laughs> Just, yeah, showing up at seven in the morning. Hey, guys, your show's To a at dry one. country where they tell us we're not allowed to drink yeah. anything. Come oh, on. Well, we hit it hard in Egypt. We hit it hard. Yeah, Egypt was a little bit of a In Romania. In Romania. Because remember? I don't remember getting to the airport in Romania. I didn't understand the exchange rate and accidentally pulled out $2,000. <laughs> That's the When I thought I was getting 400 After our last show. A and then... I just gave all of that money to the bar and said, how many drinks can we get with this? They said 450 and we went for it. We Let's closed the bar down at 2 a.m. We were so... In Romania at the hotel. So the van came to pick us up to drive us to Bucharest. Which to was go like to the airport. four hours. Yes. I do not remember the drive home at all. I don't either. All I remember is... I remember waking up in Paris. I... That, yes. We, I woke and up And I in Paris. downed two bottles of wine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember the last time I saw you, because you guys took a separate flight back to Salt Lake. The last time I saw you, you were laying on the floor in the Paris airport drinking wine out of a bottle. <laughs> oh, my God. What is wrong with us? Dude, you know what? Hey, we, we worked hard, so we had to... Oh, God, I don't want to be that guy, the work hard, party hard guy, but we were those guys. We were definitely partying hard. Yeah, we were partying very we hard. We were partying real hard. And the Jack. best part is the band, you know, they're a very professional band. They would do two hours of really great music, work their asses off, put on a great show. You and I just had to get up there and do a little routine. A little dance. Just a couple crowd things. surfing. Yeah. Just sing, a, I sang one song. Yeah. We had the easiest job on that entire tour. That's how, when I went back with them after, I've gone back with them a couple times and I'll, uh, I'll do about five minutes of stand up. I wrap up the show with a little routine I do with them. So I'm doing a total, maybe 10 minutes of work on those tours. Wow. And yeah, I get to wow. enjoy the music and hang out with the troops and all that stuff. That's, that's why. Yeah. I was, you and I were supposed to go back in yes. March. Then it got pushed yep. to July. COVID. Then it got pushed. Yeah. I really enjoy doing those things. We were supposed to go back to Jordan and that's a really oh, cool man. country. Yeah. 
Well, hopefully we can get on one again soon. Yeah, I think Dan Dan's ready to... I'm, I'm, I'm sure as soon as they get the green light, they'll be hitting us up. So after that, after we get back from, from that, you end up leaving Ranger up and... I left Ranger up shortly after that. I moved to the District of Columbia area. For, oh, yeah, that's uh, right. For a little bit. Yes, you did. I was up there for, uh, yeah, Alexandria. I was up there yeah. living, living that old town life. Did you get to know her? Did I get to know who? Alexandria. Alexandria? Yeah. I got to know that town very well. Yeah, yeah. did you get to know her? I got to know her very did you well. Get to yeah, know I was her? insider quite a bit. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Jack. We're talking about the town of Alexandria, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Around, we yeah, old town. Yeah. Murphy's there, right yeah, off our of King yeah, Street. Yeah. yeah you know. I was in that place a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I remember I was, uh, I really hated that area with yeah. all my heart. Yeah. I was you were, depressed you were, and shit. You were hating it. We did a drinking bro show uh, down in Fayetteville. It was the first time I'd probably seen you since the USO show. Mm -hmm. And I had such a good time. And I remember I, I hit you up shortly after that. And I said, hey, man, what do you got going on this weekend? He said, nothing. I'm like, I want to get out of town. He's like, hey, man, my couch is open. So I booked a ticket and came down to San Antonio. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. I remember now. Yeah. Yeah. We just, because I lived in the Pearl. You were at the Pearl at the time. Yeah. And we I, I raged. Yes, we did. That was a... That was a four-day bender that we went on. Yeah. yeah. You and I, I think, have been blackout more together than I have with anybody else. Maybe really? Dave, because Dave's lived with me a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, what do yeah. you think? You think same? So you think well, about Dave, Dave has like early 20s, Jared. Yeah, but Dave also tries to give good advice, but you don't. You egg me on. You're like, why don't you drink I'm, more? I'm tired. Dave's like, why don't yeah. I hide that bottle yeah. from you? <laughs> yeah. Look, the, because you again, peed in my room again. It's the Minnesota thing. It's the Minnesota thing. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. You do your thing, I'll do mine. I'm never going to tell you no. That is true. Yeah. You've never you've never done that. You and I have spent more time in a hot tub together than anybody else. Yeah, we have actually. Yeah, going yeah. all the way back to Egypt. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh let's talk about let's talk about our our sad boy summer. Sad boy summer? Sad boy summer. Well, I would say pool boy summer. Oh. Ranch boy summer. Oh, that oh, last summer. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> summer 2019. Yes, I remember that summer very well. Well, how, kind of remember How it, would yeah. you explain that? You and I were both uh, men in our 30s who were going through uh, 20s level single phase. Yeah. Basically, yeah. yeah. We, uh, But that's... We had the ranch out there, yep. Black Rifle Ranch. Because nobody was going nobody to it. Nobody was going to it. Nobody you was I, working we there. We cleaned it up. Yeah. Like we, we built oh, things. Oh, man, like, the amount of time you spent uh, working on that pool area up there. Yeah. yeah, we were hanging out at that pool all summer. It was like, and it wasn't like a weekend thing. It was a Wednesday at three o'clock. What are you doing? I don't know. Just doing a little work. Hey, come to the pool at the ranch. Okay. And yeah, it was. And then like, we wouldn't leave for nine no, days. No, yeah, we would just. Yeah, and that was before I had the dog too, so I would just really stay out there. So wow, yeah, that was. I get. I would say I get flashbacks from that, but when my mind goes to flash back to it, it just says file not found. I don't remember a lot of it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't remember a lot of it. It was a whole summer, and then that's right. Right, uh, shortly into the fall, you got your place, and we kind of yeah. just transferred over that, to the party scene. That's when I got my house in Bernie, and yeah. then you and I. You know, I spent I spent all of March of this last year building out our studio and yeah. office, and we just got and to it's work. It's a real office, like you yeah. have a legit office, you know, on the side of your house there. It's That's great, a great work. I mean, we've put a lot of things out of there. Yeah, you and I have have made a lot of stuff. Like, yeah, because I was noticing it when Patrick made that that recap of, doing, of season one. Yeah, like, about a weekly, we've been putting. We did out a joint hinge account. Yes. I still, a lot of people ask about that, the joint hinge account. Uh, that was, hinge deleted us. Yes. Eventually. I don't know. I don't know if we, uh, vi I, we, I don't think we violated any terms. I don't think we did. I didn't even, a lot of women hit us up just out of curiosity. You guys being for real. I'm like, yeah, we're being for real. Oh, yeah, you want to double day with us or what? Yeah, you want in? Yeah. What's up? Yeah. That was fun. That was that was kind of uh, our last hoorah, really. Like, uh, I mean, we've Single done a few. Stuff? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, we did the WAP video. That was, oh, I'd say, our, our, our best received. People We were yeah. hailed for that. Hailed for that. Baker Levitt's idea. Baker we'll Levitt's yeah. idea. B big, bold, baby Baker. He called. He said, you guys should do this. You printed out the lyrics in the morning. Yeah. And it was, we were about to quit for the day. You're like, you want to go we knock this out? We didn't put too much stock into no, it. No, we yeah. were like, yeah. And a lot of people say, how many takes did that take? One. Yeah. We shot you. We shot me. Yep. And we left. Yep. And just Patrick edited it. And we, we didn't we were think done. too much of it. No. We tossed it up. Then we put it up. And it blew up on yours. <laughs> yeah. And I had, my sister was hitting me up 
uh, you know, she's like fr- friends of her in the friends of hers in the real estate community in, in Minnesota were they're like, is that your brother? Like people that don't watch what I do for a living. Everybody was watching that. So <laughs> that's awesome. That yeah. was fun. And then I would say the capstone of this year, which you and I are going to start within the next four weeks is nommed. Really excited. About Our that. Vietnam sitcom, 22 pages, 22 pages, 22 minute first episode. Yep. We, you wrote the, the, the theme music. We paid a hey, theme music that, guy we already have that to done. make the theme. Yeah. Like we have a legit theme. We have 22 page script. Like, yep. The audience is going to get a sitcom with yeah. you and me as Vietnam and guys. We're, we're shooting it. Well, I'm really excited. We're shooting it uh, office style, office where it's style, that documentary yeah. style. A lot of lot of camera work that you know the camera is going to obviously tell the story as much as the dialogue is. Yeah. So it's going to be really exciting. You excited for that one? I'm really excited. I think the the characters are great. You know, you're playing the 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 new guy to the group from Brooklyn. Yeah, from Brook the stereotypical Brooklyn guy. Come on, Saj. Air Force guy. I'm playing the salty southerner yeah. you know the uh, texas or oklahoma yeah oklahoma yeah. right he's uh what's the tom berenger's character in uh platoon uh yeah kind of an offshoot of his character and yeah. then uh we have the brand new boot lieutenant the arrogant lieutenant yeah we have the the radio man the soul brother character that every vietnam movie has ronnie ronnie's ronnie playing for us yeah. Yeah. ronnie was just in the in the Halloween video. Yep. He's got a really nice part in that that yeah. comes out tomorrow. Ronnie's a good actor. Yes, he is. It's phenomenal. Um, and then, yeah, a couple other ancillary characters. Our crew is really good. Yeah. Like, like when we when we need people to perform, they can perform. Yeah. Everyone's got the dialogue done. We're, we're waiting for it to get a little cooler out before yes, we, we're outside in Texas. We're going to have to spend 10 hours on that yeah. set. So we were. that's why we've been delayed on this. Um, well, here we are in 2020, almost getting to the holidays. Your profession now is a writer and yeah. an actor. And an actor, yeah. I mean, you, I fell into the You lived your thing. dream, didn't you? Yeah. I'm, You've been in a real movie. You've every time a- tax season comes around and I get a little stressed or, you know, any work stuff that, you know, in any workplace, you're going to have bumps in the road. I always remind myself, like, this is what you always wanted to do, bro. Yeah. Like, it doesn't, like, to be grateful that you're getting to do this for a living. That is, yeah, that is why I've, I've always been excited about when I eventually write my book. I've always wanted to call it When I Grow Up. Because I haven't yet. Yeah, <laughs> you get to keep pushing the limits. Yeah, what do I? I, I want to go. I, I want to go to space yet. Yeah, oh space. yeah. Wanna, we we want to do the the vomit comet, the oh, zero yeah. g. Yeah. Remember, we've had some a few ideas. We've had some good ideas lately that you and I are kicking back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, we can keep pushing through. Um, pushing through. Uh, Nam. Oh, we got to do uh, thick boys pumpkin pumpkins, smashing yeah. pumpkins. We got to get on those pumpkins too before everyone goes out and buys them at the last. You're right. We should. We should get those soon. Maybe we'll do that this weekend. When do you leave? I leave on Monday, so I I got all weekend, bro. We might be able to get that thick boy. Let's take our shirts off and smash some pumpkins. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Where can people find you on social media? I am. uh, I'm J A C K M A N D A V I L L E Jack Mandeville. That's it. That's it. I mean, I'm I'm literally fifty percent of my time is. Working at your place, so yeah, that is true. They can find just me go at to your my, place. Any, too, yeah. any one of my posts. Yeah, just show up to Jared's tags. house. Yeah. I'll be, <laughs> show up to Jared's. I'll, house. I'll be, be smoking. There. I'll be eating all his kids' freaking fruit snacks. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I thank you for this interview. Dude, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, and we'll this, have, do we tell each other we love each other? I, I'm not sure. I mean, we're not saying I, goodbye. Yeah. I'll, I'll see you next Did we week. get to know each other? A little bit. Yeah. Did we really get to know each other? I mean, what do you want to? Uh, oh, are you talking about? Uh, uh, did she? Did she get to know me? Did she get to? Did know we get you? to reunite with, with? I don't know what we're talking about. Right I don't now. either. Okay. All right. So uh, a lot of yeah, uh, Dave is going to have a lot to cut out of this. Well, thank you all for listening. Yeah. Hey, do you want me to just like? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just end this out with uh, well, some. I'm like, if you want me to Billy be Joel. really controversial, I could just like read the original edition of Huckleberry Finn or something <laughs> like that, or Billy Joel. We oh, can start the do. fire. Yeah, yeah. Just send us out with that. Little first verse. First verse? Yeah. Okay. Harry Truman, Doris Day, Red China, Johnny Ray, South Pacific, Walter Winchell, Joe DiMaggio, Joe McCarthy, Richard Nixon, Studebaker, Television, North Korea, South Korea, Marilyn Monroe. Good job. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Goodbye. Bye.